Hey guys, it's La Rosa. Listen, today we're putting a starter on the cub. Yep, gonna finally put the starter on the cub. I've got the B and C starter for the cub, but I'll tell you right now that if I told you I wasn't scared, I would be lying. Cause you have to cut off a shaft off the back of this engine. Um, I guess I'll read the directions before I do that, but that's a little scary, but yeah. So it's got a, it's got a um, shaft right here that uh, has got to be cut off. It's a shaft right here with a Dremel tool, I guess. That's what they say they use. So I don't know. I'm a little scared. So okay. when you read the instructions on the BNC alt, the BNC starter, that's what I'm putting on it. It tells you to take the accessory housing off of the airplane. Okay. Um, I talked to Steve Pierce at Pierce Arrow in uh, Graham, and uh, he says he does it without it, so that's what we did. do is count the number of rags that I put in there, and then I'm gonna cover the rags with modeler's clay. Fill that all up to keep the pieces from going everywhere. So that's the plan. Packed with clay to keep all the stuff out. This is a horrible idea out there, Martin. Extremely horrible. This is a horrible idea. Well, at least it's raining outside. We got nothing else to do. So. This is a horrible idea. <laughs> Let's do it. We, did. we packed rags in there and packed the clay in there. I showed you that already. Um, yeah, we'll get it cut off now. Looks like we're about a third of the way through. Yeah, I think so. The clay is catching all of that stuff and then Chad is vacuuming it up. I don't think we had this on video. So the other thing we did was we rigged this up on our vacuum cleaner, rigged it up to where Chad hold this and sucks. We, a lot of the particulate uh, ended up going into this, which is really good. Um, that's the thing you want to keep out is all of that grinder wheel stuff so so keeping it out of the engine yep all right so got it cut off actually cut it off three times using this 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 ended up being the best thing for us to use uh because it really got in it could get in there tight um it took welding gloves to hold the thing because it gets so hot. I can't believe that tool took that. That thing is tough. I cut it off three times. The reason is the first time the shaft is sticking out far enough that it makes it really difficult to get anything in there. So I got it cut off. Then I could get in there with that and really cut it off. So we, we cut it off. It's two and a half inch clearance is what you have to have. And like a dummy, um, you know, I was looking at the clay that I had stuffed in there. So I cut it off flush with that. Well, duh, I needed to move the clay out of the way, move back. We got exactly two and a half inches clearance now. So what I'm gonna do now is just flush it out with some solvent, flush, try to flush the clay out. So it's gonna flush it out now. All of this stuff, I want to go down the back of the engine. It's everywhere in there. I'll go around the other side and do the same thing. See, it's on those, it's on the magnetos. I mean, that particulate gets everywhere. Even though we vacuumed it out, it got everywhere. it out flushed it out with naps after I pulled the clay and the rags out and um, then poured oil over the gears okay I got it all cleaned up got the gasket on it it's time to put the new starter on Well, hey guys, there it is. We got it on there. Hey, 
it's not that big a deal to cut that shaft off. Really scary deal to cut it off. I couldn't believe we're getting in there with a Dremel tool and cutting off a shaft out of the back of the engine, but it's really not that big a deal. Guy in there, just make sure that you take precautions to keep all the crap out of the engine and everything. So the next part is going to be wiring up the battery, which I already have a battery. I have a portable battery that I have mounted under the seat that runs my radio. So this is the way that I set my radio up. This slides out, so it's all portable, and uh, the battery's portable, comes right out. So got to figure out a way to, to do all that, stay legal, and uh, so it's all temporary and can come right out. So, hey guys, fly safe, have fun, Viva La Rosa.